Mattson has been painting for more than 40 years. His favorite subject is nature. How convenient that he can just look out his kitchen window and spot eagles, wild turkeys, herons, and songbirds for inspiration. He is a classic watercolorist in the English style. He takes his time and loves creating every last detail. Join us as we visit a studio in Albert Lee. The subjects I like most would be nature, uh, just nature in general. Years ago, I was considered a wildlife artist, but I was always kind of a, a strange child in that because what I did was more nature art than wildlife art. I'm Rory Matson and uh, live here in Albert Lee and I've been painting for, well, maybe 40, 50 years. My subjects are the birds, the butterflies, uh, the barns, the farm machinery, the landscape of the Midwest. What I see somehow turns into a picture. If this, I know it sounds kind of zen or, or strange, but an example is an egret. I saw an egret on the pond out back here and he was scratching himself. And that turned into a picture. Plus, my wife is amazing at finding things that I need to, um, well, she thinks I need to paint. And uh, boy, half the time she's right. We have nature out the back door, out the front door, out the side doors. I paint classic watercolor the majority of the time, the English, classic English style. I use very few opaques, and when I do use opaques, it's because I have no other option. I like detail. I'm happiest when I have a number two, number one pointed brush in my hand and I can do spinals on on uh, or spirals, on uh, feathers and things like that. I, I just enjoy detail. Most people think watercolor is, is not a forgiving media. If you work with it long enough, it's just like any other paint. Once you've developed techniques, you can erase with watercolor. Uh, it down is not done. Art has become a huge part of my life because the best thing that can ever have happen to any artist is when somebody buys your work and makes it a part of their life. That is the neatest thing that ever happens with art. The second thing is I own a bunch of stuff now. I don't know how it happened. I just woke up one morning and I had huge piles of art material and displays and a trailer and this and that and the other thing. Uh, I literally did. I woke up and said, well, I, I guess I am an artist because I got all the toys. As far as awards are concerned, I have a box most meaningful probably, let's see, I got an award at the Heritage in the Twin Cities uh, for Best New Artist. I've got a war, an award in the Kansas City National, the big national show. Anytime they give you an award, it's just a little pack on, pat on the back. It's, I don't even care monetarily because I usually sell enough work that uh, I make a buck here and there. But it, it is nice to, to be recognized. I have a picture in my mind when I begin, and it's, it's already painted in my head. For me, art is a very individual thing. I think it's important. I think it's important because it talks to people's souls I don't believe anybody buys art because they need it. They buy art because they love it or they want it. I am never totally satisfied with any painting I do. 
And I learned a long time ago that I never finish a painting, I stop. Uh, I, I'm so addicted to detail that I'll start adding detail where it's not needed. What is neat to me is when I stop at the right place.